This is a 2002 Ford Escape front wheel drive. The rear wheel bearings howling on it. I went ahead and took the wheel off of it. It's 19 millimeters. That's going to need changed out. I've set the center frame member on a jack stand and then raised the control arm up and set it on a jack stand. And there's a couple different ways to go about this. Either, either use the puller set for doing it or to, to get it out anyway and or use a port of power and just press from one side to the other and push the guts out after you get the clip out of it. So I've already got the wheel and the drum off of it. I'm going to use a 32 millimeter socket. I'll break this nut loose on the back of the wheel bearing assembly. You can either leave the wheel on it and leave some weight on the ground and break it loose or leave the drum on it and hold the brake down or stick a wedge in the studs and hold it while you're taking it loose. Just make sure the threads are clean. Just watch and don't damage your ABS sensor. If you can, take it out. If it isn't frozen in there and you're worried about hitting it. Uh, you can just pull it off of there. Just remember which way it goes back on there. This is a nut that come off of it. And I found a dummy nut that I hit on. I'm just going to beat it out. It's faster than hooking a press up and pulling on that flange. Just take a piece of steel and a sledgehammer and knock the center hub out. Now this is a method using the port of power. And there it is. Right on the flywheel. That's super nice. That's a dummy nut I had on it. Didn't hurt the threads at all. Okay, now to work on the clip. Just got to be taken loose here. Spray some lubricating oil on it. And maybe give that bearing a little tap back to settle it some and pick this clip out. Get your clippering pliers in there and pop it right out of there. It's really toasted. I got a clip lubed up. I took a kind of a curved blunt chisel and just went around and tapped it in a circle to get the clip dislodged. But it's it's about ready to come out. When the wheel bearing loose, it starts eating the brake shoes up. And grinding on some metal pieces. There. It's just a matter of pulling the bearing out. You could set a piece of tubing up on this with a piece of metal and a bolt and some spacers behind it to pull, pull it out. Use the port of power to do it. Push it out. 
Uh, however you, you want to do that. I'm sticking a spacer. It's two and a five eighths inch in diameter, and that's loose enough to pull on the bearing from the back side. And then I'm using a spacer on top of a piece of pipe bushing. It measures three, about three and an eighth, three and three sixteenths in diameter. To sit on the outside of the housing, need a bolt. It's at least eight inches long, preferably half three quarter inch in diameter and fine thread to take some force feed it through the back side now that'll that'll pull the bearing when I tighten the nut down on the other side the bearing will come through this sleeve it's just slightly bigger than the bearing and it can sit on the axle tube I got my spacer set up on the axle tube and the nut to pull and the Spacer pull on the back side. If it's inside, there's a little lip that holds the bearing from going through the back side, and you want to stay inside of it. Now, I'll just tighten that down. It should pull the bearing through to the inside of this hollow piece of tube. It's really stuck in there pretty good. So I'm going to knock the center races out of it. I suppose I could clean all the grease up and weld a circle inside of the bearing and let the weld shrink and get it moving or just take a cut off tool and cut a gash through the bearing. Rather than tear up the puller or the frame with the porta power, I'm going to go that route and knock the centers out and cut a gash through it at an angle and split it with a chisel and pull it out it's got a good bite on it in there just stick a punch in there and hit the center race i set a box to catch a ball bearing is going to come flying out of it and do it from that side and then go on the back side and hit this race out and that's what you're left with some pinball some pinball machine parts plastic the inner and outer rays and I just need to cut a gas through this to weaken the structure but not get into the housing I just can cut off wheels so that I stop using them when they get about half the diameter so I can fit them inside of the bearings to cut them when I need to. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This looks like it might be thin enough now to split it open. Go on the back side and hit it with a Punch. Put something in front of this side post. It's pretty dangerous. Got to use leather gloves and eye protection around this. Throw some rags around the opening. That metal will go flying like glass shards. Wrap rags around a chisel and split it from this side. And break piece off. Need to use leather gloves and eye protection. Those are razor sharp pieces and they go flying, they, they'll cut you wide open. Be advised that your chisel may be damaged from this too. They're about the same hardness of metal. But it did its thing. Very well too. 
those shards are sharp as busted glass and they will tear you up if I get a hold of you I don't even know where the piece of chisel went but I uh, use this heavy leather welding glove chisel done in there I packed a full shop towels and hit it about three times and it fractured I don't think that bearing will put up much of a fight now what's left of it it'll come right on out of there just like downtown well I had to put the puller on this and pull it out it's hateful all the way to the end but at least it was moving now that's a tough guy it's not too bad a little scratch there from the cutoff tool none in the back is what I was targeting a little chisel punch mark it's, it's cool